Welcome to Mobile Game Thursday. Today I'm going to be talking about an app I've been wanting to for a long time, but for obvious reasons, I just didn't think it would last. The game is called Triple Triad, and it's pretty much exactly what you're thinking if you're a fan of Final Fantasy VIII, except it isn't made or published by Square Enix. I first saw this pop up on Google Play much earlier in the year, but figured it would be taken down pretty quick. But here we are quite some time later, and it's proving to be a much better way to play Triple Triad than Square's own Portal app. The app has everything you'd expect to find. Lots of monster cards, all the different rule sets, and mechanics identical to the original Final Fantasy VIII minigame. But there are also some things you wouldn't expect. For a start, there are two different modes. You can head straight into the traditional card battle we all know and love, there is even a practice battle option so you are not at risk of losing your cards. The second mode though, which includes a story mode, is actually built around turn-based RPG mechanics. All your cards are also the monsters that are held within them, so they have their own stats like HP, attack and mana. You'll pit a team of your cards against monsters in a JRPG battle similar to the system used in the proper Final Fantasy VIII battles. It's not an overly complex system, but it works just fine. You can play through the story mode to unlock more powerful cards, and you can also get more powerful cards by playing the gamble mode in card battles as well. There aren't any limitations on how many games you can play in a row before having to wait for crystals or some other resource to recharge. You can play Triple Triad to your heart's content. Did I mention the game is also free? There is only one downside, and as far as downsides go, it's a pretty small one. And that downside is obviously ads, but they aren't intrusive in a way most shovelware free apps implement them. You won't be bombarded by an ad every time you open the app or when you want to perform a basic function. Basically, you can use cheats at certain points in games or skips by watching an ad. In story mode, you can instantly win a battle rather than playing it out by watching an ad. Or in a card battle, you can flip back the cards you originally owned during the later turns by watching an ad. The ads are actually your choice, so you could play this totally free game without ever sitting through an advertisement. And as far as advertisement implementation goes, it's probably the best I've ever seen. But the prompts for cheats and instant skips may annoy you depending on what kind of person you are. Overall, I highly recommend this game. I think it's far superior to Square Enix's Portal app because you can play more than five games in a row without having to wait hours to play again, and the cards themselves are much closer to the original minigame we all know and love. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, hit that like button or the dislike one if you didn't. Subscribe to see more of me and everything I do. Follow me on social media for the latest updates, and other than that, I will see you all soon.